Hey guys, Steven Martinez with the Corcoran Group. Not trying to berate you with numbers and stuff like that regarding the market, but just a little bit of an insight of what's happening, right? I think the fear uh, with what's happening now is this interest rate hike that's got a lot of people pretty much scared of where things are going. Though you're probably looking at this market report now that I'm going to send to you, uh, and it's full of, you know, how it's been much better this quarter compared to last year, this same time. Uh, I think it was like six billion versus seven point three something billion dollars now. It goes to show, you know, people are certainly buying, but that's probably everybody buying before interest rate peaked up to four percent in February. Um, there was a little bit of a retreat, probably due to the war uh, or the, you know, the whole Ukraine situation. And um, but it might be a reprieve for what seems to be still a steady increase in interest rates for, you know, in the future, which is, you know, what the long term uh, plan seems to be by the feds. Um, it's just about pivoting. Right. It's just about what's the best way to save money. In, in that situation, even me for myself, I saw an interest rate hike too. I'm also purchasing in this market as well. And I saw myself buying in Long Island and uh, my interest rate was gonna be around that 275 range. I was gonna go for a 30 year fixed FHA loan, um, loan to value like 95%. And then it turned out that, you know, once I was priced out due to interest rate, I thought to myself, what's the best way to pivot here? Now, obviously, obviously, I am a New York sales agent. I sell here in the city, but I ended up pivoting to New Jersey. There's no mortgage recording tax there, you know, and the home prices are much, uh, they're much less than they were in Long Island. There's also taxes are much less over there too. So there's like a way to pivot. If it came to New York, you're like, well, how can I save money like that? Well, there's, you know, uh, transfer taxes you can save if you buy a resale as opposed to a new development or something like that or if you go into a new development that's maybe not doing so well or maybe still open to incentives you can save money that way it's just about how you pivot yourself in a market like this i don't want anyone to feel like just because interest rates are going up that it means that you cannot buy it just means that you guys you just have to be smarter about how you buy or you know how you put your deal together um and some landlords are opening their minds up to some of those situations it's just not all of them are really privy to to that if they're like super established developments like the lantern house or something like that uh you know you just got to be really smart about how you do these things in the meantime what i would love to do is i'm going to send out weekly reports uh showing market trends in manhattan and in brooklyn so that you could see where contract sign has been um this week compared to last week and so on and so forth especially now that 30-year fix are over four percent already you know some arms are like four and a half uh just so we could see if the the if contract signed which is the best indicator honestly is continuing to increase or decrease if you find any of this stuff helpful you could always feel free to reach out um, as well, I'd be more than happy to encourage you to also speak to a mortgage broker, anyone that we might have had contact with or done a deal with recently, who can perhaps also dictate uh, or just give you some type of guidelines of where they see things going and uh, what they feel might be a good strategy for some. If it's like maybe doing an arm and refinancing and that kind of thing, what the cost associated with all that stuff is, it's just a good indicator of where uh, what you should do in a in a in a market like this one it's extremely hot right now you know we don't know where things are going it seems like it's still going strong but um we just want to be a little bit more uh aware and um we want all the information possible prior to making a decision um last but not least i speak about this because while i've been successful myself with trying to lock something in even if i was a whole percent interest rate higher than i wanted to be I did lose out on a deal over at 160 India apartment 1F. I was, you know, looking to be in contract at a number just under a million bucks. Um, and it's a, uh, that was a condo conversion. So it's considered new development. There were transfer taxes that we had to pay. And with the interest rate bumping up on a credit union that we were going to use, which is the only financial institution that approved this building, um, it jumped over 5% and it made things it made things really unattainable for my buyer and we lost out on the deal and so here we are kind of scrambling looking for something a hundred thousand dollars less in price just because of that situation so uh and we're looking at resale condo too to avoid the transfer tax and things like that just pivoting so that we could be smarter about um way about the increase in um 
an interest rate like what's the what's the best way to to offset you know these these costs right and um and i look to do the same with anybody who uh uh is willing to reach out and work with me but i'd be more than happy to assist in any of these situations this is steven martinez once again uh thanks so much for taking out the time to see this video and hope to hear from you soon thanks